Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 123 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a diagonal killer even problem submitted to me by Wushel. Thank you for sending it through. So the goal on this one is to place the digit in the cell marked with the X right up in the top here. Um, the rules in effect on this one is the diagonal um, constraint. So the um, each of the indicated diagonals cannot contain repeated digits. We have a killer cage. Um, the digits in the cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. And we've got some gray um, bordered rectangles or bordered squares. Um, and those digits must be even. Um, there is a link in the description below where you can get a copy of this grid to try it out for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and figure this one out. And then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, I really like this one. This one is simple in concept, but has a few tricks in it that I think are incredibly important, particularly for the diagonal constraint. So the first thing we need to look at, of course, is the killer cage, 23. So there's only one way to make up 23 in um, Sudoku digits, which is six, eight, and nine. The maximum digits you can get out of a um, out of Sudoku digits is seven, eight, nine, which is 24. And if you drop those, you can only drop one of those by one. You can't drop the nine because you have to drop it past the seven. You'd have to drop the eight past the seven. So you can load the seven by one to get six, eight, nine. The only way to make 23 in Sudoku digits. Now, we've got these digits, which have to be even. Now, so those are two, four, six, and eight. But if you're experienced with... Um, these, you may immediately look at it and go, well, I can see what's going on and you may just put it in, but you may know that through habit rather than like anything specific. So what I'm going to do is say, okay, let's look at this cell and I'm going to color that cell yellow. So this is one of two, four, six, and eight. Now this cell here sees that, or now we just going to say that is two, four, six, and eight. This cell, and we know that this cell sees that one on the diagonal, that one on the diagonal, and that one on the diagonal. So that can't be the same as any of the others. This one here, it can't be this one because it sees it on the diagonal. So that is a different color. Let's call it green. This one sees that one on that diagonal and that one in the column. So that cannot be yellow or green. This one must be a different color. Let's call it purple. This one sees those two on the diagonal and that one in the row. So it can't be either yellow, green, or purple. It must be a different one and must be blue. So those are four different even digits. Now we want to ask about that cell right there because it sees green in the row, blue in the column and yellow and purple in the on the diagonal. So it cannot be any four of the even digits. So it cannot be six or eight. It must be nine, which is the solution to the problem. A lot of people are going to look at this and go, oh, it has to be a nine. But I really wanted to go into the fundamentals of exactly why all the way right from the very first principles of why that was forced to be a nine. So hopefully that covered it for you. Um, so the people who've never seen this before are able to go, oh, okay, uh, because I really do want people who've never seen this before to be able to understand. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you solved it in a couple of seconds, cool. You've obviously seen this before. If you've never seen this before, hopefully that helped. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.